We are back. Dallas on air live wrecking ball talk with Diana D. Dirty D over there and Jesse Scott. What's up, everybody? Yeah. And we are in the studio with Gun, Gun, Gun Hill. Hill. All right. Guess we'll start with the basics. Everybody tell your name, occupation, what do you want to do in life? Bobby Blotzer, vocals, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sterling Whitmill, vocals, also known as Sammy. Sammy. Right. I'm Abel, I uh, play one of the guitars. Just one of them? Just one. He's got 15. <laughs> one at a time? <laughs> yeah. You got that many, you got to play at least more than one at well, a time. Well, I try. Right. I mean, working on it. I'm David, and I play the other guitar. Oh, okay. <laughs> one of his, or just you got to bring your own? Actually. Sometimes I play one of his, and sometimes I play one of mine. That's actually happened uh, yeah. on a multitude of occasions. Yeah, yeah, you got to okay. share. <laughs> I'm Doug, and I play bass, uh, and plus also I uh, like to piss everybody off to a rehearsal studio. Well, somebody's got to do that. It happens a lot. Oh, oh he's well, that guy. guy. Yeah, he's he's going to be that's late. That's 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 totally that's 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 the late guy, the over-talking guy. Uh, he's way too loud. Guy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and we started with the show a little bit of a little excerpt of Walk Away, so we want to talk about that song. Or you got some questions? Um, yeah, some sure. Questions. Well, that that's one of the one of our first songs we come up with as a collective group, and it started off like many of our other songs. It's we're just kind of warming up and just kind of jamming out. And Keith, who's not here, who's our drummer, uh, he just started laying down a groove, and then next thing you know, we just all kind of felt it and just. 15, 20 minutes later, we had a basic structure. We worked on it for about an hour yeah. and uh, just rocked it out. And yeah. so it's, it's become one of our favorites to play live. Um, I find that's kind of like the best ones kind of come organically yeah. like that. Absolutely. You know, and, and that, that's the cool thing is that uh, a lot of us leave our egos at the door. Yeah, or at least I, I check it when they come in and yeah, and right. Yeah. 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 No, no, the law. No, it's it's actually really cool because uh, we all have yeah, we all have pretty much a mutual respect for each other. So you know we, well, we everybody except for Doug. Right, no fucking hey, respect. Come on, man. Doug. Everybody loves the he's D. the bass player, but you know we just we just all kind of feed off each other. I think we inspire each other, and it makes us all better. You know, better people for it. We've all been yeah. in. And many bands been playing forever. I mean, we're not spring chickens, dude. We're not 20 years old trying to make it. I'm the and, old guy. You know, but, you know, we, we do it for fun and for love, and we walk in there, and, oh, yeah. and, and we always oh, yeah. we always end the night with a, with, with a hug, and, and we're inspired and just happy to... You know, just happy to be doing this. And Drink so, yeah. beer and jam. That's Come right. on. And just try to try to hang out and, and do it, man. So yeah. I need to I need to have a band then. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's why I do the show. It's because we just drink yep, in here yeah, and just go right shoot the oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you got it's some shine band. in here, baby. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. I'm here for the booze. <laughs> uh, as far as the lyrical content for that song um, goes, um, like you said, that song came... Uh, they were just jamming. Um, uh, I came up with a melody, like, just boom, just like that. And um, uh, the lyrical content is actually about uh, me personally. It's uh, Most of my lyrics are personal shit. And, um, You'd hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I wrote lyrics from somebody else's point of view. Uh, I'm not going to throw my wife under the bus, but oh, <laughs> it's, basically, wow. it's basically about some of the shit that I've done to her and, this is and, 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 and me and, and me almost losing her. So let's go back and listen to those lyrics real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to want to do that. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> and again, how, long ago, again. how long ago did you record this? Um, See, we just recorded this about four months ago. Yeah, it was so last it's summer. It's, yeah. uh, it's it was still, back easily back in July. It was a uh, booking CD or it's like a, just something, you yeah, know, this the club is more of a, to listen to. Promoted, with, promoted yeah. 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 It, it's, um, the quality's not great. We're not really proud of the quality, but it gets the job done. Mm -hmm. um, um, any recording engineers out there that are willing to throw a dog a bone, give us a call. <laughs> 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 I might have a couple of people. All right, so this is Walk Away. Down, driving my soul 
There you go. How'd yeah, you like that? It's got a good groove to it. I like that. It does. Yeah, Walk, sure. away. <laughs> Walk away, Prada. bitches. Walk it's away. It's one of the things we try to pride ourselves on is groove. Yeah. Just stay in the pocket. Try to keep it not too technical. Um, yeah, I like that philosophy. You want to feel it. It's yeah. not about like how, you know, look, right. look at me lessons I took. And then, and then at the end of the day, vocally, um, if I can't find a hook, What's the point? I don't want to do any fluff. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you don't want to just drum um, Elvis Presley, um, which I think is one of the greatest hook writers of all time. I think he was, you know, tenacious. No fluff. No fluff. He said. Um, no fluffers? To fluff quote stuff. him, he said. Well, I mean, that's a different I show. Would, I would, I would, I would, <laughs> to, quote him, to quote him, he said, I would never uh, write and release a song that I wouldn't purchase myself. No, yeah, I mean that's really the way you right. should look at it. Right, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If you wouldn't go if you're not wanting to listen to your own stuff. You got a problem. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, you know, um, I would suck. I yeah. Thought about it like that. <laughs> well, that last yeah, song you just played. Matter of fact, that'd be like hell. Matter of fact, <laughs> well, what are we playing tonight? A whole bunch of songs we don't like. Right, yeah. that's the way to do it. Yeah. Fuck you, radio. <laughs> Followed by how much am I making? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you guys have some shows coming up. We do. We uh, we have a few coming up. We have one this uh, Saturday at Reno's. Reno's. Uh, Reno's. So Jesse most, just played uh, there last week. Who you right? fucking cat, baby? Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Hadn't been there in a, in, in a while, so it's gonna be while. interesting. Who's to get on back the over. venue with you? Uh, it is uh, Scar from Razorblade Dolls and uh, Design and Chaos, his new band. Uh, is it uh, it's, uh, Mannequin Messiah? Mannequin Messiah. Their debut show yeah, too. So, it's like uh, members of a uh, crew. 
Uh, it's got Scar from the Rage Blade Dust. Dolls, Design of Chaos. Yeah. Crop, uh, crop Dust. Reno's is pretty crop dust. cool. Yeah. 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 Reno's a good, good Man, I dig their game. sound system now, man. They got yeah. a, they sound, they got a really good sound system now. I, think I had uh, some time between um, oh, his set and then a, um, another friend's set, Born and Raised. And so sure, I love those guys. you sit in there and it's like a who's who. Walking in and out of there. Well, it's kind of fun. I love it. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. Well, Jesse walks in and out of there, so there oh, you go. Man, well, there you are. Your red <laughs> carpet and all, you know. Sometimes I don't even walk out. So. Uh, Jesse walks in with one girl, walks out with another girl, walks back in with a different For girl. For those of you who can't see Jesse, he looks yeah. like Doug's twin. No, he's just saying. I, I, I can I'm, barely I'm, hear I'm you. The better looking, <laughs> I'm the better looking twin. Bouncing. Okay, he's yeah. a better looking twin. <laughs> so Jesse knows Doug. Yeah. I know Doug, yeah. They, How do you know Doug? Yeah. Uh, Who doesn't know Doug? We go way back. Um, let's see, you know you're he, fucking uh, up your whole reputation right now. Your credibility is going to shit. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, he was do actually going to play bass for PRI. And then uh, I guess he joined you guys before oh. we got our, So you got rejected by him. That was two years ago. No, no we just we just didn't have uh, anything going on at the moment. That, must have been, uh, that was like two years ago, bro. So Doug doesn't want to wait. He wants to jam. Yeah, it's like a lot more. Well, it was about four or five years ago. Yeah, we were still working and, uh, on a demo then. Right. But then the surgery happened. Yeah. You know, it's like basically, it's like actually able to hear everything. Let's like go. It's kind of so you guys stole him from Deeper me, appreciation right? for the stuff yeah. that you do. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we, you know we, what? We, 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 if you have a bass player, we'll swap with you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, in, 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 in all serious, you know, we, we, we give we, we <laughs> give, we give, we give Doug a hard time, but we, <laughs> we absolutely love you. It's yeah. like this, you take it off, and it's like one, no. like you don't hear all the bulls. Well, and, and that's a very interesting <laughs> thing here. See, uh, you know, we, we give Doug a hard time, and that, that's because we love him, and yeah, he is, he, he's, he's a very unique, and, <laughs> well, what, what a lot he's of that stepchild we didn't want. That's right. <laughs> what a lot love, of people don't know we is love that, you but you're not ours it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> eventually you're going to go find your family that's right <laughs> Doug, why don't, Doug why don't you tell your story wow. man let everybody know exactly what's going on with the I implant I think I'm going to add two and more cabinets to my base rig Abe <laughs> well, that, yeah. that's because Doug is legally deaf and he actually has a cochlear implant one of the very first few musicians first, well, however you spell first, it so. first, first, first musician or first bass player I well, think let, let, let's use like that a, term loosely a little bit of the back story on it's like before it's like um at one point i seriously thought i wasn't going to play again and wow. 2013 my wife took me up to uh, an audiologist we had the hearing test done um at first i pretty much said no i'm not going to do it because it's like there's i mean i was reading false information i mean think about it if it's on the internet you think it's true it's mm -hmm. like i did a little bit more digging from the clinic, yeah. Yeah. and uh there's a guy it's like a, by the name of michael chorus um he had a dual he's bilateral implanted and it's like we started emailing each other back and forth and i finally said okay i'm going to do it and the heart of the the hardest thing to actually accept doing it my oldest brother is legally deaf he's been deaf for 53 years and mm -hmm. it's like my brother and i are really close he's also been very supportive of everything i've done in the music you know for the past 32 mm -hmm. years and when you go up to somebody that's legally deaf say i'm getting a cochlear implant that's almost like slap him in the face <laughs> But when he said, if you think that's what's going to, you know, actually help, then do it. Because the main thing he was concerned about was that I wouldn't be able to enjoy music again. And that was a really, you know, difficult thing for me to talk to him about. I mean, my parents were supportive of it. And uh, Carrie, uh, my wife, she did a lot of research on it. And from what we understand, I am the only cochlear implanted musician that plays hard rock and metal. No. What? And oh. it's, it's kind of opened the doors for us. There you I mean, go. It's, it's not about this. It's about these four guys that I get together with, you know, and it's like what we put out there. You know, it's, it's just, but like I said, I mean, they've got my back every single time. So, yeah, way absolutely. back. Way absolutely. And now we're trying to train Well, hey, that's, that's only it's like if I have eggs before I come to practice. Well, that's true. Oh. Doug, Doug also yeah. has a very special talent. Mr. Mr. Yeah. Half a colon, it's I'm going to drop a, an air biscuit on stage. <laughs> Mr. Clear a room. Dude, I'm serious. With the real, he makes everybody almost throw up. They need to put buckets on the side. <laughs> so they, Sammy they, blamed they, it on me. They, they, these are the stories that not everybody you know, knows. Already, this, this is the glamour yeah. part. Yeah, right yeah, yeah you really don't. Don't want to invite him over for Jesse, a Jesse, you're no better. You've done it to you <laughs> many a time. I've been real guilty. I like blaming it on the. Uh, well, you know, no, he, he pulls up in his tour bus, and it's like, or it's like they had an RV, and uh, he's walking out of the bathroom. He breaks the number one rule. It's like, you know, he craps in his own bus. <laughs> I had to go. 
Man. 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 Don't, Don't shit where you eat. Number one rule of the road, do <laughs> not up. shit on the bus. <laughs> Beef. You know what? Yeah. Beef wow. makes you... Uh, but too nasty. These, red meat. <laughs> but some of these clubs that you play, you go in the bathroom and you look at it and you go, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to go shit out in the alley before yeah. I shit. Yeah. That's all the Jaeger yeah. and the crown that we're drinking. Oh, we're actually oh, having yeah. a conversation yeah. about shit. <laughs> you're like, you're like, Doug's been here. Mr. Yeah. Hanky in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Since I missed Taco Tuesday, I'm going to make up for it tomorrow. Mr. Just so y'all fucking know, my pastor's listening. <laughs> really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, really? Now he knows a little bit more about you. <laughs> Pretty cool pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No. So what venues do you like to play at the most? You know, we have um, uh, been very fortunate here recently to play some pretty decent venues. Uh, we've recently played the Curtain Club before and after the new re- the, the remodel. The sound there is Where amazing. They can't close the curtain half the time. Sound looks <laughs> much better. Yeah, the, the, the sound has improved. The rail has improved. You know, the rails, uh, 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 rails really improved. Oh, man. the rails uh, become like a just big a, yeah, it's yeah, a you killer know. man. I mean, their yeah. sound system is phenomenal. The way they restructured everything and made use of the. Oh man, it's crazy. I mean, it's like night and day. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, it's it, 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 it's it's funny because you know you you've got all these crazy places to go play. There's trees, Gas Monkey, you know, all Deep Ellum, Fort Worth. But, you know, we have a lot of fun, believe it or not, right around the corner from our rehearsal space at, <laughs> at, 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 at O'Reilly's. You know, it's it's just one of the, I mean, it's, everybody knows what that is. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. You know, call, call, you know, call it what it is, but we always just have fun. For me, it's fun because I can get to load back in in five minutes. I just, yeah. you know, just and the funny part about but that we is, always do good there. Is, I was yeah, just, we do. I was enjoying it. And I think it's because one of the reasons is because it, where it's located. Oh yeah, it's easy to get okay, to. So easy to park. I'm, I'm a Garland Rowlett rock wall boy. That's where I was. Just, those are my stomping grounds. And so, like my friends that I grew up with and shit, right? Mm-hmm. They don't want to drive to Deep Ellum and deal with the traffic and oh, the parking shit. Oh my shit. god, that's so, so true. So they take their ass. So every time we play at O'Reilly's. Man, we're pulling mega numbers at the door. I mean, absolutely. and you're at O'Reilly's, but I live in Arlington, What's so I stick to Arlington. Right. But at the same time, I I am just as close to Deep Ellum as I am to right. the rail. Well, absolutely. we're starting to get, we're starting to get that way. Yeah. We're starting to get. For you know, coming out towards See, Arlington, Arlington used to have a lot Jamaica of good Board. venues, and when they built the stadium, half of them absolutely got leveled out. Yeah, well, they there's still a couple little small bars. So they have Diamond there, Gems is good. Yeah. I like Diamond, Diamond, Diamond Gems. Yeah. Yeah. I love playing that place. We we actually uh, What's just up, went Jerry? back there. Yeah, yeah. we we actually Man. just went back there, and, and you know, I played uh, Diamond Gems with my old band. You know, years ago, and, and, and the sound was you know rough mm-hmm. to, to be nice, and yeah. it, it has vastly improved. Mm-hmm. That, that's right. in my backyard. Yeah. It's a big room to you fill. Know, and, and we heard, and, and, the, and, the, and here's the here's the thing about it, man. You know, you're gonna hear uh, tales about sound here and, and this venue and that venue, and and people are gonna say, well, they did this wrong and they did that wrong. Go figure it out for your fucking self, man. Go play. Don't listen to the bullshit because it'll keep you from missing out on some good gigs. Yeah, play where you can. Yeah, yeah you just, know. just yeah. fucking play, man. Yeah. Okay, you know? here's my Uh-oh. big question. Dun, dun, dun. Because it size thirteen irks the fuck out of me oh. all the time. Front to back. As a patron, because yeah. I'm a fan. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, when I go to a gig. And no, we don't do groupies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the answer. <laughs> no. What's my chances? I hate, I really do hate, and I do. I'm going to fucking say it. I fucking hate when I go to a gig and I see six, seven people on the bill. Yep. I'm like, six, fuck uh, me, wait, wait, dude. Wait, like, wait. I got to be there at fucking seven and I got to be there till two to, so I can see my friends play. Because yep. that's who I go and see, sure. my friends, right? Yeah. I'm like, no. Why why venues promoters do you fucking put that many fucking bands on? Nobody wants to be the last band on. I already know this. And nobody wants to be the seven o'clock band. Yeah, either. nobody wants to be the first Thank early. you. So why can't they just put four? I can answer that very quickly. I'll probably make a bunch of Well, I know of it's money. I know it's a money no, thing. No, it's the promoters are lazy. Yeah. And and why why would they want to go out and promote their own show where they get six different bands to do it for them? Yeah, it's hey, weird. It doesn't work. Don't Does it work? Pretty it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't work. It about the promoters because basically well. it's like back in the day, I mean, it's like all of us right here it's like we, we were all doing this in the late 80s early 90s okay and it's I like, wasn't what, man feet, I was still in school our buddy feet, our <laughs> feet, <laughs> well we were, yeah, we, were wow. payment. we were actually going out to clubs handing out promo like and, 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 and even then in the early media. 90s our even Facebook yeah. hey I'm going to create an event I'm going to share it every day you really see anybody I mean I'm seeing fewer and fewer people that mm-hmm. we do shows with hanging out at the clubs 
And it's like this, I mean, some people, it's, you know, if they can't go out to see another band, why should we go out to see them? And then now you have all this live crap where you can sit there and do it on your phone. Hey, yeah, it's like watch the show live. No, yeah, but it's like yeah, the audio experience. always blows smell, balls, like, man. You know, yeah. I mean, yes. the well, smell you know, the beer in the air. You know, the smoke machines. You know, the lights. Everything. Okay, yeah, but, but yeah, but get, get back to get back to your point here. It really does suck when there's six or seven bands on the bill because mm-hmm. you literally have to be there six, seven hours. And I'm fucking tired. I don't want to do that. I, so I, I'm going to pick and agree. choose who I want to go see well, as a, you know, the it, patron. Well, it's turned into, it turned it into like a this. numbers game. The That's guys, what it's turned it, into. Yeah. The, guys, it, the guys here know I have a, a I'm, something I'm dead set on. Um, and they'll, you know, get they'll throw it out there. Well, we just got offered this gig. I play at fucking 10 o'clock. If I can't play at 10 o'clock, I barely want to play because that's the fucking spot. I don't yep. want to be there till 12 in the morning. I don't want to be there at 1 in the morning, and I don't want my friends to have to come out at fucking 7 well, o'clock, leave well, the house, leave work, come straight to the fucking show. To see exactly. Yeah. So we do 9 to a 10.30 slot, and those are the only slots we ever take, man. So here's what I think. I think that it's up to the bands to tell promoters. Now, if it, it's not four, because... Or maybe five, but no more. Four's pushing it. Four's pushing four's it. Pushing I it. think, no, I, you know what? I four. think the fans tell that to the promoters in a very real way just because of the numbers alone. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would. See, I don't have any problem That's waging a, a full, scare, full scale war on, hey, promoters fucking quit putting fucking well. six and seven bands on a bill. Because well, you, you know what? I don't have to go there. Do you know in DFW on a fucking Friday and Saturday night? How many bands got, just in metal no. are playing out? I cannot go well, to well, all of like them. Diane, check this out. Point wow. case. Okay. Just tonight, at this, right before we yeah. came in to do this, we got a fucking message on our page that I'm not going to say what venue. Five fucking bands. Yep. And they want to put you well, in. Yeah. Put five bands five. per night on like, a Friday yeah. and Saturday. That's Thank ten you. bands per weekend. Okay, that's forty bands per month for one club. Now it's like there's what, say, ten or twelve clubs in the area. It's Doug like they're trying to do five math. Bands. Okay, you take that number. <laughs> it's like you got four hundred <laughs> bands right there. Why can't we do it? Three bands, maybe do it Thursday, Friday. It's real Friday, simple, Saturday. Doug. That's because there's a bunch of up and comer bands that don't know any better that they just want to play. They'll right. just take what they can. And they'll just take what they yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. Here's yeah. Another some thing. people are sitting there willing to do it. It's like, here's, hey, here's, here's, play on here's another thing, too, about that, man. Okay, some of us, we don't, we don't do this to make money. But it'd be nice to pay for your fucking gas to make it to the show. So if you cut the numbers of bands on the bill, that means you can spread the money a little fucking further and let mm-hmm. us get there and not have to come out of our pockets to go play all the goddamn time. You know, and, and it's it's you not know? everywhere. There are there are shows, venues, and promoters that, that are changing that. You know, if you just look around, where uh, you can find them. <laughs> where? Um, yeah, they're there. I look. There. I do really so look. You know, all for, the time. Well, for, for the most part, we only play four four venue or four. Uh, We'll play a uh, lineup with only four other, now, see, no, when, three other bands. We're see, when, when four. Which is good, because I, I love that. Around, when Summer Row rolls, rolls around and you see, like, the Gas Monkey Barn Grill, mm-hmm. when they book five bands. But, yeah, man, it's summertime, man. People come out at 6 o'clock on a yeah, Saturday afternoon. Because right, yeah, it's an outdoor right. But you said five, yeah. right? Yeah, they'll do, okay. they'll do four or five. Four or five. five. Six, six and seven. seven. Well, that's almost a Fuck festival, that. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> and you want to start it at That's fucking special. seven. I'm not even home and eating and ready to go out the door by seven. Well, you, right. you know what? The, right. the, the, well, the flip a... side of that is, you know, it makes it difficult for bands like us. We all have to play. We all have to bring all our own gear. And typically, the staging area is about the size of this table here. Yeah. And so, yeah. what really <laughs> sucks is yep. that and then if, you got... if, if you play at eleven and load in at six, you literally have to stay there from six to eleven. Yep. Or mm-hmm. closing That's time because you can't just leave your stuff. We're you know? there yeah. before everybody and have to leave yeah. after yeah. everybody. So we're. You know, stuck I, I have always said, and I'm, I'm always open whenever we play shows with other bands. Is I have no problem in sharing my gear, whether it's just a cab if you want to bring over just your head, yeah. you know, because I, I know what it's like, and I'm, I'm fortunate and I'm, I'm, I'm blessed that I have yep. plenty of gear. And I don't mind sharing it, you know. And, and, and I mean, let's just be real, you know, yeah. a speaker's a speaker. Sure, there are some crap speakers as mothers, but you know, I've, I've got Marshalls with Celestians uh-huh. in it, so they're, they're good. And yeah. I have no problem to say, hey, you guys are playing after me. You know, just bring just ahead. Plug in. You know, well, we just can plug in. We can, we can bitch and piss and moan all day long. Hey, you know. But at the end of the day, I get a hard on when I walk on stage. Well, of course. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's because that's because so I moved you to your left. Yeah. Your ass yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> until you get that rotten egg smell, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> no, music no, wise, no, no, no. Sterling, you just did not help my cause right there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna I'm play like, uh, Southern me. Proud. So, like, what's the backstory on that? The backstory is Southern Proud. Okay. Um, it's for Canada. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's because we're all Mexicans. Southern, actually, Southern Proud is, <laughs> is uh, more of an anthem and an attitude. Um, when you okay, how do I put this? Okay, um, man, that, 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 here's that, the thing. Here's the thing. When I I got buddies that you know are, are two good-hearted Southern boys, you know, we get you to share off their fucking back buds. I grew up with like my cow, Steve Elliott, and, and the list goes on. And Danny Juicits, and I mean, it's just a host of other guys. And all of us are, most of us were or ha- or are. Hard working, blue collar, beer drinking, bike riding, Woo-hoo! gun shooting, yeah. just good fucking boys. But and 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 if anybody crosses you, they'll be the first ones to back you the fuck up. Yep. And 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 Jared Muller and this this is a this is a song for my buddies, man. All right. Uh, for my for my. I mean, yeah. I mean, it is. It's, it's, it's an attitude. All right. Okay. Wait. 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 Are you? Are we only going to play that song, or are we going to take a? Proud. You gonna play another song right after that? Yeah, we're gonna do Southern Proud, and then right after that, we're gonna follow it up with Coward. This for my brothers. Is hey, it- real quick. Mm-hmm. So Southern people are really fucking cool, laid back. Psh, psh, you right. know, right. we will always do something for you. And uh, so, what do the Northern people do when they're up there? Like, I don't. When they're trying to uh, promote themselves, do we got? We're dicks. We're motherfuckers. You know, we're not gonna do a fucking thing for you. <laughs> They call each other I don't know. I'm gonna put it like this. They're typically um, uh, Patriots fans. Hopefully, <laughs> oh, 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 fucking Patriots. <laughs> don't even want to get started the, on that with shit. The, with the exception of a few that might fit we'll in down here, like Ted Nugent, you know. Uh, <laughs> See, even Ted came down. Right? Yeah, right he now. came down. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's let's get to it, people. Right. You know, actually, this song is about cornbread, so just listen yeah. up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hot, hot water cornbread, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Southern Proud.
questions all then. right we are back and that was coward oh, no. <laughs> it's about a guy no <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so good yeah that good was jam. southern proud and coward back to back both coward. from gun hill yeah. by the way where can people find you like online and stuff like that when they're looking for you get on it man you we do the facebook of course everybody's got that um, our uh, websites uh gunhillbrotherhood.com okay. you know we're we're constantly Rebuilding. somebody's always here on online. There's one, one of our guys is usually yeah. pretty uh, porn or pretty aggressive and <laughs> no. it's <always> wow. <laughs> no, actually no, redirect to the Facebook page. Yeah, so it's completely rebuilt. Yeah, we're. So we're I, told my mom, I told my wife I wasn't doing that. Anymore. Oh man, you know, but you know we're, we're on social media. We're we're revamping our, our our web page right now, and I mean we're. Even though the, the band actually just celebrated a two-year anniversary here just recently. Yeah. Uh, this is actually it's like a one-year anniversary since we've gotten back. And then okay. we're actually, <laughs> that would be... Two years, one year. Same difference. Yeah, because, yeah, because, somewhere uh, around there. Yeah, because <laughs> Facebook reminded me of a memory from when it started two years so, ago. So there's yeah, actually a backstory here. And, and uh, <laughs> I'm a new member, but uh, Doug and, and David and, and well, Sterling here are all original. So tell the story, Doug. You, you've been quiet over there. <laughs> the, okay. Talk. The, the funny thing, it's like a, there's the short version. Facebook. They were looking for a lead guitar player and a bass player. So no, 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 I no, no, emailed no. their see, current guitar see, player no, at see, the he's, time. See, he's missing part of the story said, because hey, this was before like he we're available. Came. Oh, I see. And the next thing you know, came. it's like um, we're talking, we're emailing ideas. I give David a call and say, hey, I got an opportunity, man, we can, uh, for a band to go jam with. Send him the demo. And uh, next thing you know, Sammy's called me. 
He's like, dude, what took you so long? I'm like, okay. So we hang out, um, mm -hmm. and it basically it's like the first time we all rehearsed together. I mean, there's a certain kind of magic there. I mean, there's a little, there's a few bumps and grinds there. There was, but we hated their demos. And <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let Sammy take it from here and then there. tell the rest. Oh God! Yeah, they, tell the story. Oh man. yeah, y'all yeah, did yeah, taste we hated that the too. Demos, man. Um, well, um, we're leaving a a, a very uh, integral member. Uh, founder out of this and um, I'd like to say Eddie Mendiola bro if you're listening man I love you um, I know we went through some hard times man um, I know you're going through some rough times now um, we wouldn't be where we are right now had me and you not started this together man and uh, I love you brother and uh, I hey, hope wasn't you're doing he in well. nitrate he was in nitrate yes um, yep. he left um, Gun Hill and went and started nitrate and then um uh, and he's he's going through a rough time, man. Y'all keep Eddie in your prayers, man. Yeah, so, I do. I see yeah. him, and I'm like, well, oh, drink, yes. Let's drink to Eddie. Right now. Medical drink to Eddie. Let's do some medical issues. Yeah, poor Eddie. thing. Sorry. Cheers, Eddie. Brother. It's like, you know, and while we're at it, thank you guys for having us on right, here and allowing you. us to uh, come you. up here and, and, and spread our stupid right drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, guys. So, You're welcome. So, oh, so Eddie, Eddie and I started this out two years ago or plus. Um, and then um, we were having trouble finding members to add to the rhythm section. We had a drummer. I'm not going to bring his name up because he's an asshole. Um, anyway, so. Um, he's not the guy from Spinal Tap. Yeah. You know who you yeah, are. Yeah, you know who he is. Asshole. Uh, but, um, and then. Um, uh, we almost literally these killed two each guys, other. Yeah, in the park, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> uh, these two guys came in, and then um, I left, um, had some issues, medic, uh, some personal issues. I was dealing with some demons, and I wrote a song about it. Um, <laughs> And um, I left for a while, and then they kept jamming. And then uh, the tornado hit. Tornado and hit. Tornado um, hit. Rock Sam wall. and I live. Oh, that yeah. one. Yeah, the one yeah we live. Yeah. It hit his house. It, it, his house took some damage. And then um, I live about a mile and a half from him. Yep. And yeah. we were, me and my wife were in a closet, and we could hear we, the house was rumbling. That's how close. It was a thousand. It was Ooh. just under a thousand feet from my house, so it was right on top of him. Wow. But wow. they, it kind of jumped them, but they took some damage, you know, and they're just Sammy still, was the first person that called. It's like when the tornado right. hit. And, 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 uh, and we left. Yeah, we left. I mean, we parted like, ways we, hating we, each we, other. We were balling little bitches. We gave time. each other a hug at the fundraiser at Gas yeah. Park. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. it's just, we've got like a 25-year history together. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've done yeah. Don't you tell it, boy. Do not do it. It's just... It's so, so 25 years. Yeah. Let's get started on that right now. He makes the sandwiches, though. He's the bitch. He makes the sandwiches. <laughs> but I bet they're okay, good banana. sandwiches. Okay, okay. But, okay. Live, yeah, yeah, but you're the one in the banana hammock, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. It's just getting good now. <laughs> <laughs> the secrets. No, but you know, it, it, it was real cool because I mean, I, I've known Love. Doug for for many years, and and out of out of nowhere, as a matter of fact, it was two years ago during the Super Bowl, he came over to my house, and and after the yep. game, I don't even remember who played Denver and somebody, but it wasn't Dallas. Don't matter. No, yeah. it was. we weren't paying attention to the game. Yeah. We were it was drinking. Fucking yeah. Patriots, yeah. Drinking of so, course. <laughs> so at, at any rate, uh, Doug and I have always talked about jamming together, and we, we never really did, and. We kind of mess around in my in my home for a little bit, and about three months later, uh, he calls me up. He goes, "Hey, dude, are are you ready?" And we did, and I came in. It was him and and Keith, and and and, David. and, and, and about a, about a month later, David come in, and I was just scared shitless because you know I've heard of David, and it's like, oh man, dude, you know I. I'm just me, dude. And, and, and I've heard this Dave guy. He came in and played. And <laughs> David came in. I was so scared. It was, it was so funny because I'm sitting there and I was, I was literally shaking. It's like, man, I don't want to play too loud. I'm turning my amp down. This is a guitar player. I'm turning my amp down a little bit. You know, David comes in and plays. And, 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 and again, it's just real inspirational and super cool dude. Very humble. Uh, very inspirational player and, 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 and just overall good guy. And made me feel real comfortable. And the next thing you know, we had some grooves going on. We just started writing riffs and just kept on evolving and, and and we were trying out different vocalists and doug was coming up and said hey man you know sammy keeps calling and you know what do we want to do what do we want to do and next thing we know he comes in and it's like immediate we just knew it was yeah. on and so walk away yeah you know, that guy it, in touch with me and said hey man you know it's, it's, like it's said, really walk good and so i said song. you know i'm interested i'm ready to come back i got got over some shit you know i was ready to come back to a singing and uh walked in man and the grooves that they were laying down um I think they played three different songs the first night, and the first night 
I had melodies for three songs wow. and hooks. And so, David, like, you don't talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I do. He <laughs> does. We just, I just don't shy? Him, we don't let him get started. I'm just letting everybody else. Because Are you gun shy? If I were, no, I'm just not. Well, I try not to be uh, redundant. So, I mean, do you have a where, significant other? Do I? Mm-hmm. Not at the moment. Because I do dating shows too, so I'm just saying. She does. Oh, she'll pimp you out. Oh. I will pimp All right, you out. We got to get you uh, pimped out, uh, brother man. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's Jesse let's, was on a dating show, and well, I, I had him three clubhouse girls. Just whoa. Uh, whoa! Did you score, Jesse? Three times three. <laughs> what the fuck? I still keep in touch with them, Jesse. What, what the I've got so many. Was it six or nine? Uh, I lost count. I got so there, many uh, responses in the, the back of my head. Did you even I'm get totally one? Not talking about right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dave's our single guy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. He's, yeah. All right, you're yeah. you're fair game. Yeah, he's yeah he's Uh-oh. he's our he's our, our Hugh Hefner, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah. Is <laughs> ASF. What is that? Is that ASF? Age, sex. Oh, ASL. Age, sex, location. Go. David, like what? Age, sex, location. <laughs> age, right. sex, location. Yeah. Uh, age, age. Male. Position. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Age, sex. Yes. Yeah. Um, David, you can win him with your impressions, dude. Forty-one. This guy, yes, please. And I'm at the chat room ASL. <laughs> this guy does some great impressions. Always keeps me laughing. Oh, oh, do some, do some. You, you, you wouldn't be surprised. He is. Super, We're ready. He's, he's gonna be Go. super humble. So, come on, David, do some of your impressions, what man. Was that? What if? Well, okay. Well, what if Jimmy Stewart was the head there you guy? There go, Jimmy Stewart. Right? Right? After Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Jimmy dude. Stewart. I've been trying. Wait, you know, you you know. Anyway, okay. Say so if he was, so. say if he was the, if, if like if he was the 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 lead singer in Megadeth, or you oh, know, God. if he had Damon Stane jobs, you know. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart. Well, Stewart. well, what do you mean? I don't believe in God. I I, I talk to him every day. <laughs> You know. Oh my God, he's a fucking comedian. I'm telling you, I love he's, it. Yeah, he's, he's great. Don't sing walk. He's also an actor too. Oh, he's he's yeah. done some movies. Oh shit. He's done I, some movies too. Yeah, there, it's 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 really great whenever you like, whenever you're uh, reciting old classic Van Halen lyrics oh, God. in the style of Jimmy Stewart, and then like a a, a back and forth between him and uh, oh, I don't know, Sean Connery. <laughs> of course, I mean, I'm not, I mean, but Do that's it. like three Jaegers later, and that's not right <laughs> now. We have no Jaeger. Uh, Jesse has moonshine. You, you, you've got to bring that to the dating show. Dave's got to work tomorrow. You've got to bring he it to the dating show. He has moonshine, and we have show. not enough time. I'm sorry. Oh, man. That's but for a Wrecking anyway. Ball Talk Underground. You know, oh, after hours. Oh, oh, oh. We, we tape those in my car. Oh. <laughs> I'm not lying. Dave? I'm not lying. Wrecking Ball Talk Ooh. back seat. Dave? Dave? <laughs> so, okay. So when's the next show? So everybody actually shows up for the damn thing. Well, we, have, uh, we have March 4th. We're at Reno's. Um, it's gonna be celebrating my birthday. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Sammy's birthday, so we're, we're excited to go. Uh, Saturday, my, right? My birthday's Saturday. actually the seventh, but we're gonna celebrate it at that show. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna stick around because I'm gonna get drunk as fuck yeah. all over the bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's gonna be I'm, good. I'll be, I'll be. I'm gonna be. Check this. Wait, Get I this. thought we were going to your house, right? How old? I'm having a party the following weekend at he's, my house. He's going <laughs> to be 32 years old. Are we invited? Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, after that, we're actually in, in your backyard here. We're going to be at uh, Diamond Gym from the 15th of what? April. I thought, that, uh, I thought that was the 8th. Is yeah. it the eighth? One of those two. Oh, maybe, the uh, check the page. It's the eighth. It'll be an April Sunday. Uh, the boy's about to be 51 fucking years old. That's now. right. You know, it, it's got to be the G1. Oh, it's party, party. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, uh, <gasps> oh, that on, on, one. on Cinco yeah. de Mayo, Rivet we're Head. playing with the Mad Mexicans and Rivet Head. Oh, trees. Be so. trees, that's going to be That a is a show. good we're lineup right there. We're excited for that. So. Thanks, Clint. We're looking forward to that one. Mr. Oh, yeah. Barlow, appreciate it. So that's what we got so far. i got a few more in the that works that we haven't quite gotten the... The oh, confirmation oh, on oh, so, yeah. but we're, so, we're close. So, yeah, so I'm fixing to put some pressure on somebody real quick. <clears throat> so, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I've been trying to get this reunion show for about two years now, um, and we're stirring up and kicking up dust a little bit here around Dallas, Gun Hill is. And so, uh, there's a guy named uh, Jeff Shadow. Uh, he's putting on the basement reunion. 
Um, oh, so oh, cool. Buck the <laughs> fuck out of him and tell him how you want to see Gun Hill on that bill at a decent time. All right. So, so Three what's, what's, what's his name Jeff, again? Jeff Shadow. Jeff, Jeff Shadow. S C H A T T L E. Jeff Shadow. Everybody used to, used to run the basement. Jeff. On Green on Greenville Avenue. Yeah, Green blow his ass up. Greenville Park. He's gonna pick. He's gonna kick my. Oh ass my god! That. I don't think he wants his ass blown up. No, never. <laughs> All right, we're about to have to wrap up. It's not we got cute. One last thing. I yes. To address. It's kind of Tell it. One band here. Tell us about it. There's a certain band called Coilback that I'm a member of. Yeah. There and we have a show coming up on uh, March 19th at the uh, Curtain Club. Curtain so Club. We have free see. sale tickets. You can go to our Facebook. Coilback.com if you want to go there or just harass the hell out of me off a wrecking ball. And what other six bands are on the bill? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> really? How many are on there, yeah, Lou? On this bill? Tell me. Five. Yeah. What number are you? We're going to be two or three. Okay, good. Okay. That's, that's a good spot. Yeah, we, we, we told them we play middle. We yeah, always play exactly, middle. Dude. That's where we play. Guys, I'm getting, I want to be the headliner. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, so how do we stop these headliners from fucking like 12 o'clock? No, we let them. No, we let them keep headlining. Yeah, they can take. <laughs> somebody's got to take that spot. Yeah. We don't want it. <laughs> okay, that's but that's always going to suck for the headliner. Well, you believe it or not, the headliner a lot of times are the newer bands. They yeah, just yeah, want to be able new. to play. Yeah, because nobody that's else will take true. it, so they'll give plus, it to them. That's plus, true. A lot of the times they're young and they don't know any better yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, but then again, when we were that age, so only, there were only three bands. Everybody went that through time. it. Yeah. But we're gonna give away two tickets on uh, the Wrecking Ball site there. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, maybe do something like have you listen to it and tell us what your favorite song is, so you can't fake your way. Absolutely. In. So, yeah, yeah. Go support, man. That's awesome. Right. That's it. So go support see Gun Hill. Music. Go see. Cole Come Batman. join the Brotherhood. We're going to close it out with the Coilback song. Is there anything else you guys want to say? before? Yes, we I, I want to say thank you once again for you guys for having us Appreciate on here. It. Thank you so, so much. Thanks for being it's on the show. It's been an honor. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that is some, some good stuff. Say, you, know. you have to say. Thank you so thank much. You thank, right. you thank you, Diana. Thank you, Diana. She's the one that you makes it all happen. Right right fluid right again. Right <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. Gun Hill's waiting on their Dos Equis uh, endorsement, so get in touch with us. Oh, yeah. So, Bug Jeff. Dos Equis. And thank you, Jesse, for being here. Thank you, Lou. Don't forget to go listen to PRI, Jesse's band as well. Absolutely. Abe, that's not cherry Kool-Aid. I know it's not. And thank you, Gun Hill. I love you guys. All right. Give it up for Little, too. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming out, man. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Second ball.